Up in the ring, Boyd Pierce, ready to introduce this event. Let's pick him up. This event, one fall, 15 minute time limit. Weighing in at 235 pounds from Buffalo, New York, Playboy Gary Hart presents Maniac Mark Lewin. Across the ring from Lafayette, California, 235 pounds in the red corner, Pepper Gomez. One fall, 15 minute time limit, your referee, Bronco Lubitz. Pepe Gomez, here is the veteran of the wrestling ring and the guy who knows all the tricks of the trade. Properly labeled by our director, Ed Worthington, and his opponent, the Maniac. No matter what, how you give him the label, Maniac Mark Lewin fits him for sure. You see Bronco Lubitsch as he tries to get manager Gary Hart out of the ring and calls for the bell. So the bell sounds and Pepper Gomez in this special event moves in to clash with maniac Mark Lewin. And referee Bronco Lubitsch getting his opportunity here to watch Gomez retaliate on Lewin who is quick to respond anytime somebody leaves an opening and is also quick to respond when they start to get after him and to move out of action. And here you hear that strange whoosh that comes out of maniac Mark Lewin. And he'll have a chance to whoosh, I'll tell you, with Gomez now twisting that arm lock. Lewin, man down on his knee. Of course, one of the reasons Mark makes that sort of sound is that he will uh, use it to control his breathing. And kicking Pepe Gomez in the stomach is a total waste of time because when Pepe has those muscles that are tense, he can stand unbelievable pressures uh, on, on his midsection. little test now as they lock fingers and Mark Lewin lets loose with that weird noise and weird is the only name for it and although many of these fans here start to imitate the maniac you know which one is the maniac just by the sound of it. Pepe Gomez sprawled now on the timekeeper's table on the microphone as Boyd Pierce comes back with the vain hope of rescuing that microphone. Gomez, man on the table, and referee Bronco Lubitsch manages to get Maniac Lewin into the ring, but Gomez now is not getting the count because of Mark's interference. But as the maniac now starts to chop away on Pepe Gomez, Gomez tries to get into a defensive position. You see him maneuvering around here, but he is caught with a tight grip on the trapezius muscles. Lewin leans in there hard with his powerful fingers, keeps the weight solidly on top of Gomez, leans forward heavily, and um, Gomez gets up there because he's got strong legs and is able to force his way up, but he's looking for a way now to drive that elbow back into Lewin's stomach. And the trip, when you start moving your arm, that's when that grip on those muscles hurts even more. On our side, we could see it. I don't know whether Bronco Lubitsch was able to see it, he saw one part of it, and we saw the other part of it on our side. And Lewin comes in to snatch Pepe Gomez and to hang on to those neck muscles and bear down on him. Gomez again trying to get up into a neutral position to shake him loose and to 
do something about it. He comes again with a piston-like drive of the elbow, and Lewin took him down, took him by the hair, but he ignores the referee's effort to do anything about it. And Gomez has been in trouble now since uh, just after the bell rang. And you see him as Lewin makes the most of Pepper's predicament. Pepper now, the momentary relaxation of that grip, and he decided to pummel him with that elbow. Did Bronco catch him? I am not exactly certain. Reverse chin lock, and Lewin lowers the boom, and he's got a powerful chop. Ooh, man, he uh, really minutes. risks that hand of his, the way he swings it. Uh, here at the five minute mark, and anytime he swings it, he doesn't care whether it hits bone or muscle, he is after uh, results. Gomez now, as he drives, kicks in the leg because the top part of the body is protected. So, Miniac Mark Lewin holds up in the corner, keeps in a good defensive position. When you're in that corner, you're protected on three sides. All you've got to worry about is the front. Gomez with his back up against the buckle. Lewin, you notice how slowly manu he maneuvered around. When he came up, that right hand was right into position to go after Pepper's uh, throat. Timekeeper's table again gets the test, and Lewin has busted uh, about four of the tables in, uh, that have been in that same position. And now the retaliation of Pepe Gomez in good fashion as he put a stop to Lewin's use of that chair outside the maniac. And Pepper is giving Maniac Mark Lewin a test in the right fashion. He's giving him a taste of his own medicine. Oh, that is a difficult thing. As he dropped down, he just took that head along with him and hit Pepper Gomez into the top rope. Rope snapped right up against his throat. But now, as Pepper is on the outside of the ring, he's had even more punishment to worry about. Lewin trying to get the advantage over Gomez, and he's got it for sure. Right smack into that top buckle and give and take. Lewin may be crazy, but I want to tell you he's tough crazy. He can absorb a lot of punishment. Front headlock. The referees examined it to see whether it's a stranglehold or not. His decision is that it is not. The noise is still coming from Maniac Mark Lewin as Gomez now is complaining that the hold is a strangle. So far, no confirmation from Bronco Lubitsch. And Gomez trying to maneuver Lewin into the corner and succeeds. So the, the call for the break, but 
can Gomez capitalize on? He has taken an inordinate amount of punishment in this comparatively short match so far. But when you wrestle Lewin, you find that that is generally the way. Twist on the arm and Pepper borrows from the Maniac's book and backs up into the corner. He's chopping blows and Lewin knows how to use them to the best advantage. Twisting arm lock. Gomez trying to get in there with a blow of his own if he can. We saw it. I don't know whether Bronco Lubick saw it or not. Ten minutes. Ten minutes have gone by. And Lewin with an arm bar, but you see what he's doing besides the arm bar. He is compounded the arm bar by reaching out there to grab Pepper's, Pepper's throat and he covers it up as the referee is on the opposite side. Trouble for Gomez. He is being pressurized into that corner. Being in the corner is great when you're in command of what's happening to you. But when they're using that as a stop and pushing against it, there's no place for you to go and you catch the full brunt of all the pressure. And Lewin crash lands onto the top turnbuckle and, and now Gary Hart is in danger, but so is Pepper Gomez. That knee was right in the small of the pack. The man down is Gomez, and here comes Lewin to chop at him and do something about it. There's one, there's two. That's the match. The match goes to Maniac Mark Lewin. The win of the match Gary in Hart. 11 minutes, 20 seconds, Maniac Mark Lewin. Gary Hart earned his money that time by taking punishment, but the punishment managed to take all the protection away from Pepe Gomez. We'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.